this is an interesting bank. Do they have counter magic here, I wonder? Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having just a magical day. Thanks for taking the time to support the channel. Like the video. It helps. Thumbs up is the way. It is the way. I don't even care if you subscribe. Just smash that like button and I'll show you a cool deck. Deal? It's a brand new deck. Original. Have you liked the video yet? Well, who cares? I'm going to show it to you anyways, you snickle fritz. This is a, uh, oh, what do we call it? The Sunscar Festival. It's a Boros Control deck. I think my first Boros deck without Angel Fire Ignition in it uh, because it's not an aggro deck. It's just still putting it in a control deck. I know, right? That's how I feel about the card. It's so good. But not today. But we are using our second favorite card, seemingly, the Sun Streak Phoenix. Oh my gosh, you guys. Again, not your typical control card. However, when we put it into a control deck, we're just putting it into the field over and over and over again for two mana. It's incredible value. We're gonna showcase this, the deck list, the strategies, the synergies, then teach you guys uh, how to play it effectively and efficiently throughout our gameplay footage in which we are tearing it up. We're beating, you know, all of the decks people are playing in Mythic right now, all of those world decks. Ain't nothing but a thing for the Phoenix. And of course, if you guys didn't see our deck previous to this, we also had an aggro version utilizing the Sunstreak Phoenix as well. It absolutely was tearing it up as well. So I really do think that the Sunstreak Phoenix has been slept on. However, uh, I'm gonna provide you with a little further proof in today's video. Have you liked the video yet? If you don't like it, I'm gonna continue rambling. <laughs> Just kidding, let's go. The Sunscar Festival is a combination of the Sunstreak Phoenix and the Doomscar, along with the Celestis Festival theme. Uh, of course, we have the Sunset Revelry here as well. So, uh, with that being said, it's a 60 card best of one, 2.8 average mana value uh, deck with a 35 non-creature to four creature. Um, so this is basically a sign that it's uh, an aggro control deck. Um, you know, there's, we used to run maybe four copies of Dream Trawler and this gave us sustainability. Uh, it was pretty aggro as well, but the life gain and the draw was basically out of this world. Uh, however, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We find life gain, we find draw in other cards within this deck. And we'd still use, uh, you know, just a nice flyer uh, to get in when the day is done. Uh, you know, emptying our opponent's hand, playing it for really cheap uh, is really cool. So, you know, mentioning life gain and draw, uh, as well as some synergy with the Phoenix. Hopefully, you know, this is a little complicated, but it's all gonna wrap together here in a second. Uh, the Celestis, for three mana, if it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as it enters the battlefield. We can tap it for one mana color. It's just a mana rock. Great, that's typically what we want in a control deck value that stays in the field when we're wiping it. We can pay three, tap it. If it's night, it becomes day. Otherwise, it becomes night. Activate this only at sorcery speed, so on one of your main phases. Whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you gain one life, that's our life gain, and you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card, which is great because if you've seen yesterday's video or the last video before this, I should say, the Sunstreak Phoenix can be cast from our grave for two mana as either day becomes night or night becomes day. It's a 4-2 with flying, which is really cool stuff. Uh, and then, you know, I mentioned the Doomscar here, destroying all creatures, right? Helping us uh, win the value war against the mono whites, the mono greens, uh, stuff like this, right? So this also can be um, used with Cinderclasm as a field wipe. Instant speed for two, kick it for three, either one damage or two damage if we kicked to all creatures. Very good stuff, right? Just cleaning the field up early, cleaning the field up late game. Of course, we also have single target removal as it's a control deck. Fateful Absence, Creature or Planeswalker for two at instant speed. Cathartic Pyre, three damage to Creature or Planeswalker, instant speed, or discard up to two cards, draw that many cards. Again, coming back to the Phoenix from the grave, we can discard it. We can also discard extra copies of the Celestis free and clear. Uh, and then of course, you know, maybe you wanna be discarding extra lands that you may have access to in your hand. 
We have Rip Apart, three damage to creature or planeswalker. And it can destroy artifacts and enchantments. Oh, I'm sorry, Chariot. Did I get you? <laughs> Smashing is not only a land, but can also deal up to X damage divided as we choose among two target creatures and or planeswalkers. If X is six or more, double it. Holy Toledo. So this is pretty good removal as well as a land for consistency. Now into an alt win con, we have the Emiria's Call for seven, two, four, four angels. The rest of our creatures gain indestructible till our next turn with the land, much like the smashing. And then the frost dragon, right? Getting in the air, three, four, cool beans, field of ruin to destroy their creature lands. And then roiling vortex to deal chip damage every single turn, right? It'll also deal damage to us, which is a bummer, but we have the Celestis. Now this is going to be gaining us life each turn. So it you know, net neutral for us. They're losing life every turn. Cool beans, life gain also through Sunset's Revelry. Uh, if we have less creatures than them, create the two one ones, less life, gain four life, less cards in hand, draw a card. Really good value for surviving. And then, uh, yeah, the Roiling Vortex, we can mitigate their life gain for one mana. Really cool stuff. And if they're going to cast a spell without paying for it, they're gonna take five damage, which, uh, oh, I don't know really what that counters right now. Uh, the Storm the Festival, maybe? I don't know if that says cast, though. Storm the Festival. Look at the top. You may put. No, so it's not cast. So I don't really know what this is taking care of right now in the meta for the five damage. Unfortunately, copies are not casts. And when I built the deck, I was actually, uh, you know, having that misconception and we get that set straight within the build or in today's video, but it still holds its value even though, you know, it's not shitting on Galvanic Iteration all around players like I wanted it to. And we need something that does just like that, uh, that if they're doing copies, then they're taking damage, right? That's what I want to see. Of course, um, that's the deck, right? We've talked about everything now. No sideboard, best of one. Overall strategy and synergy is, uh, you know, kind of assemble your pieces. The Celestis, get that in play. Get the Phoenixes to your grave and then back in play. Just control the field. Remove everything, have their hand go to nothing. You maintain value. And then it's just like, you know, we've got flyers coming over within the land, the call and the Phoenix, which is pretty darn cool. So. I hope that uh, I did a fairly good job explaining the deck to you guys today. It will surely make more sense as we witness the gameplay footage that I have in store for you. Uh, I think we only lost against the all run deck. Other than that, we're taking people to the cleaners, which is really, really cool uh, to be able to beat some of the best decks played by or, or made by the pros or, you know, well, maybe, yeah, I don't know how you want to say it, but uh, definitely used by the pros within worlds. And now the meta is flooded with them. So it's nice to, you know, bring some originality that's actually competing, which, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of. And we're chilling at, uh, oh, what rank are we here? You know, top 1,000. So it ain't nothing but a thing. Enjoy today's gameplay footage, and we'll wrap up after that with our final thoughts. All righty, pony goes first. Two land is a, a little light. And we were making this deck work in the play queue. Whether or not we can connect with it in the mythic queue is going to be another situation in and itself even though a lot of the times they're the same matchups however with that being said if i don't pick up a cinderclasm we're in trouble <laughs> we have cinderclasm we have doom scar oh cinderclasm is uh out of no more cinderclasm please just the doom scar ah well <laughs> That's not the right color land. This is a sorcery speed, so we best take that now. All right. And then we can hold up that uh, instant speed for later. Actually, to be honest, I didn't even see the pyre there. Hashtag tunnel vision. We're okay, though. It still would have been the correct answer, I think. Cinderclasm's back on the menu, boys. And you're trying to tell me it's not competitive, HGG. You know what? I've had enough of your silliness. I've seen the other decks you make. 
They're all competitive. Look at that rank, boy. No, we're still going to need some luck, but it definitely slowed them down. Take the turn off. We can, you know, reassemble. Discard these phoenixes to the grave, baby. We still have 10 life. Where's the freaking land, Randy? Phoenix to the grave. And I should have killed this because I didn't realize we were going to ward. Oops. Oops. It's nighttime. I was all excited about my Salidas. I forgot about their Cathar. Oh, man. Now we actually have to lose life here. Yeah, I get it. Hashtag my bad. Okay. Did they double cast that turn, or they did not? Just the three mana for that, that's all they have. Dang. Doesn't feel good, man. Let's play our own Phoenix. They're drawing. Let's make our move. We can't play these Vortexes. <laughs> If they double cast, it goes to daytime. Let's clean the entire field again. And now our turn, Phoenix out. Discarding the Vortex, because we're way too low on life. Phoenix in play. Take the draw. Hit for four. Oh, Toledo's. Look at us go, hey? Interesting. Let's hold up the removal. <laughs> You're out of here, Phoenix. You know where we like to keep you. Oh, it's in the grave. Oh, it's nighttime, too. Ooh. Frickin' nighttime ward pay three life. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, sadly. Good game, though, my friend. Maya's all revved up about it, too. She's like, oh, Dad, that's a good deck. That deck gets me revved up. <laughs> that's top 1,000. Morals control. Maya loves it. I love it. You guys love it. Like the video to show your support. And let's get into another match. All right, opponent goes first. Land is bad. We toss it to the wolves. And I'll keep six. Phoenix is good. Phoenix is good. But we don't have the land. Should we prioritize the removal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Per your control deck first. Oh, we should have threw the Salidas. 
How would one know, right? How good would a red source be? We have six. We have six. Basically have to cast this now to get the draw. Shoot. Well, no, because we can Salidus next turn. The Salidus will help us. Nice. Celestus, Salidus, Celestus, probably Celestus. Definitely take action. Get out of my hand. Land out. They have five. We have five. So let's... They probably are going to protect this friggin' thing. I'm just going to try to take it, though. We'd get it! Oh my gosh. Did not expect that. I guess we should have actually done that first to make the blockers. My bad. Yes. Phoenix to the grave is good. Right? We just missed out on the two one ones, like a ding a ling. It's okay, though. We'll be probably not all right unless we top deck some nice removal. Right? Probably not all right. Um. Yeah, I mean, just fold out, I guess. Single target removal, not quite good enough. And turn, chip damage starts up, and the Celestis will mitigate the damage we take, but they're still going to take damage, right? So they're kind of like on a, a clock. Uh, it's a long clock, but clock nonetheless. <laughs> That's why we're a control deck, right? That's why we've got lots of field wipes and stuff, which we will need a ton of here. We're in a real bad shape, bro. Yikes. Stop the six. Fire the pack leader. Ooh. Ooh. That hurts. Take Ren. Nice. Never punished. So we have six mana. We could get four damage out. No attacks. I mean, we could potentially throw up Cave of the Frost Dragon. Oh, no, I'm going to take this Phoenix. I forgot all about that. Discard Cinderclaws, and it's not doing nothing. Phoenix out, and we have removal on the 6-6. Six, six. The Phoenix comes back. Still think I should kill the six six. Right, like if they double cast, it goes straight back to daytime. But a stop, they're still gonna get pack tactics. But we do what we can.
I'm going to take this damage. Maybe we should have blocked it because they could get another fight spell. There's their second cast. And their third cast. Uh-oh. Uh, can we get a Doom Scar off the top? Pretty please. Pretty please. One Doom Scar. One Doom Scar, please. We could still play it if we threw it. Yikes. Nighttime. I'll take a life gain, please. I'll take a life gain, please. Oh, come on. Where is the Doom Scars? We've got you in here, Doomies. 10% every time we draw. Oh, really? I don't know if they know that it comes back every turn. I don't even think that they need to know that. They're stomping us pretty good here. We're down to 15. They're 17. Remember that time we missed out on two chump blockers? I do. Yikes. Okay, so this is problematic. We need that Doom Scar yesterday. Stopping five damage, still taking eight down to seven. Mm, yeah, play creatures off the top. You do you, right? Down to six. Doomscar! Dang. I mean, this is our second best draw. You're not a Doomscar either, are you? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. <laughs> we could deal four damage divided. Probably worthwhile. Or the Phoenix blocks one. And then we pull our other phoenix out when it turns to daytime here. Yes, 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 yes. Not a doom scar. Okay. I mean, we're look at we're doing it. It's just we're gonna need a little luck. Another blizzard brawl? Are you freaking kidding me? What a god draw. Three, six. <laughs> That's too much damage. That's too much damage, man. We basically just pray that we top deck a Doomscar at this point. Down to three. How do you beat that draw, though? Like, no matter who you are, how do you beat that draw? Unless we Doomscar right now. They have the Rangers class, which makes this a lot harder. We do have our beloved Rip Apart, which can take it out of commission. But we, uh, we have our backs against the wall securely. <laughs> like, our Vortex is going to kill us if we can't Salidus. Oh, they don't play. That means we go to Knight. That is very good news. Yeah. Yeah. The life gain, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 
No. <laughs> and they can still play off the top of their library, remember? Down to five. The plot thickens immensely. That is a thick plot, baby. Try adding some water. Th dilute that, you guys. That is a that is a thick plot. I'm taking it. We already killed two Sentinels. They don't have haste. They have a Ren and seven, which can block, oh, I don't know, one out of our four flyers. <laughs> Chariot can make a token of it. They block two out of our three flyers because now we have to block. Did we just beat one of the best decks in the world with an original control deck? <laughs> We've been up to some uh, some shenanigans lately, you guys, and it has all been revolving around this Sunstreak Phoenix. It is a beautiful card. An absolute beautiful card. If you didn't see my last deck with it, it was much more aggro-oriented. Check that out for sure, but... Uh, <laughs> it is definitely sick top deck, though, right? In all honesty, we had our backs way against the wall. I was thinking, you know what? I can use Cave of the Frost Dragon to survive a little bit. But uh, no need. Absolutely no need. On the draw against literally one of the best players in the world. Um, a little nervous, bro. Yeah, this is the test of time. That's not a land. If we brick, I'm going to cry. Looks like it might be that way. They have to counter this. Uh, the Rolling Vortex against a uh, Galvanic Iteration deck is, uh, well, pretty deadly. Come on, we need that third land. Oh, yes! Not that we're using it on anything. <laughs> um... I'm going to pass turn, and I'm going to pyre the phoenix to the grave. What do you think, Maya? Is that good? Is that good play, Maya? She's like, I don't know, man. You figure it out. They know that's a threat to them. So they bounce it back. We'll cast on their turn. I mean, we'll play the match as best as we can. I, you know what deck this is, so it's like, oh, you're running out of time, HGG. Definitely running out of time. The nice thing about discarding the Phoenix with the Pyre here is we might draw land, too. Because I'm going to do uh, a double discard, I think. Discard the Doom Scar, I'm pretty sure. Maybe the Absence. It's oh, so hard to say. The Absence, because we have two... Could also counter this. Artifact or enchantments. Okay, okay. Vortex potentially in play. We can pay one for Walry. And then I'll come in tapped with the cave dragon. Back to the damage train, but they have an advantage on us now. They've got more life because the environmental sciences and it drains us evenly. So, you know, I'm at the losing end of that right now. Do 
we can attack with the dragon next turn. You dog! I like this card too. I think Cathartic Pyre is a pretty decent card. Instant speed, 3 damage to creature or planeswalker. Plus, if you don't need it, you can draw and discard. Wow, right? That's like really good value. We actually can't attack with the cave dragon, even though I want to, because, you know, they're ready to respond with the hall, and that's not a race we win, so we just hold up the, the removal instead, but then they probably just do their own friggin' shenanigans here, right? It's annoying, and I hate it! I pray for us, you guys, but I'm I'm really not too sure. Little worried. Well, I mean, this roiling vortex isn't going anywhere. I mean, back to our hand, sure, but you need to counter that one day here, Bill. This could be the counter. Saw it coming, no. Did we miss out on shutting the life gain down when they cast Sciences? That's one thing that I'm just circling back to now in my own mind. Okay, okay. I mean, we still have the Absence on the hall and they take an additional damage here from the vortex and if they're to copy anything with galvanic iteration they take five yeah yeah <laughs> but i still think that we're probably super duper screwed this is an interesting bank do they have counter magic here i wonder Counter magic would suck. And they must have it. Oh, you dog. We still have a Doom Scar though. That when we pulled the negate. But we're taking five, six, seven, eight damage. Oh man, that is not good. Rex, we take three more. Gulp. Another another three damage. <laughs> Maybe we need like some life gain in the deck. Maybe we add blue and then we've got life gain. Like the blue white has the life gain. Sunset Revelry is life gain. Can I draw one of those, please, sir? Pity, please. Oh, and, and not even just like one of them. Like like one after the other. Like one that draws the other. That draws the other. So we're at 16 life. <laughs> All right, let's see how this pans out for us. We're doing better than you thought we'd do, right? That's the key here. Bummer. Nice draw, bro. Or lady, bro. Who knows these days? Oh! Ward three on this freaking thing, right? Yeah, okay. We we may survive, I don't really know, but maybe. Maybe. Oh, they don't want to do hall because we have field though. Uh, we can take two. It's not great, but it happened. Our turn down to five. Our own vortex is going to kill us. 
No. Sad. <sighs> I mean, yeah. Cool story, bro. We have Field of Ruin. We have Absences. But we're too low on life. We may need some life gain in the deck. It was those devils. They really got in there. And the fact that they negated our wipe. Whew. A lesser man would have already been dead. No 13. I mean, I do think the Vortex is a good card against them. I really do. Like, it makes it okay. I wish we would have cast both of them. Dang it, HGG. That would have been one, two extra damage because they took an, a, another turn. Plus five extra damage here. That would be seven extra damage that we're missing out on. Oh, man. I think I just screwed the pooch, you guys. I think I just screwed the pooch. We might have had them if I cast this other Vortex, but I was scared of my own life total. Oh, we definitely should have. We all have regrets in this world. Should that not trigger our Vortex? Because... Oh, but it wasn't cast. It was copied, and that's different. I'm such a dingling. So that's uh, not nearly as cool as I thought it'd be. <laughs> I mean, it's, it still fits in the deck. I want to do chip damage all the time. But I was really hoping that we'd uh, be stuffing Galvanic Iterations with that. And it's a copy, not a cast. One of the more complex uh, distinguations. Not that I said that right, but... Damn! We should have something that deals damage like this. You know what I mean? Like, we should have a card to balance all run right now that's like, whenever you copy a spell, uh, take five damage. Right? This really needs to be adjusted. Or we'll get a new card like that. Maybe. I would love to see that because there's a lot of copying going on right now. That's it. it is what it is, right? I mean, I still think we did well without the misconception, right? We're really close, but it's like, you know, how many all runs can you, can you shut down? Like, this is the world's best deck right now. We did a fine job. All right, so I actually did not expect this deck to work so well. It was nice in the play queue, but I was, you know, I was nervous. I was like, man, I don't know how this is going to go in Mythic, but I just don't think it matters. Just like last deck, it's just the Sun Streak Phoenix. People haven't played against it is maybe why, and they're not sure how to efficiently deal with it. I mean, obviously you just exile it, but they're like, well, it's a 4-2. I can just easily deal damage to it. Um, and then they do, and then you, or even the removal, it's a removal magnet. You just keep playing it, keep playing it, keep playing it. If they don't remove this card with Exile, uh, it's just going to be an amazing time. So uh, that's that, I guess. How would you guys improve the deck? That's what I want to know. How do we take this deck from, wow, that's pretty cool, to holy, did you see this new deck? I cannot beat it, right? So um, I think we're close. How would you guys turn it up to 11? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video. It really does help. I don't even care if you subscribe but like that video smash the hell out of that thumbs up and we'll see you soon in the next deck make sure to have a magical day